We want the ball and we're going to score, right? <laughs> what happened in that game? What happened in that game, right? We want the ball and we're going to score. That's what happens when you have arrogance. That's what happens when you have arrogance. The 2019 Cleveland Browns have been one of the most disappointing and overrated teams in this NFL season so far. And that being because of Baker Mayfield, because of these personalities on the team. A lot of people thought, including uh, Cleveland Browns fans, and I want to preface this first before I start this video because I have Cleveland Browns subscribers. This is not a knock against you guys whatsoever, the good ones. But I do want to send you guys a message of how you should not support the behavior of this team just because they have talent. Just because, you know, you, you don't allow everything to happen. Your OBJ wearing the watch. Oh, he's just wearing a watch. Leave him alone. Don't, don't, because I'm a Giants fan, okay? I defended OBJ for everything because of how talented he was, right? I don't want you guys to go through the same thing, defending Baker Mayfield for everything that he does. And granted, there are a lot of Cleveland Browns fans who agree with me. And don't don't put up with this crap. But there are a lot of Cleveland Browns fans who've been waiting so long for any kind of movement to happen within that franchise that they are just going to go with the flow. They don't really care about the negative things. Okay, last night was a clear message to the Cleveland Browns and Browns fans and the front office and all the players. Close your mouth. Be humble. All right? Because this all started with Baker Mayfield. Now, I want to start this by, by, by you know, talking about last night, right? Baker Mayfield threw for 100 yards last night. He was like 8 of 22. I don't even think he completed 10, uh, uh, 10 uh, completions, right? He threw for 100 yards last night, the whole game. Because the San Francisco 49ers were pumped for that game. Okay, Nick Bosa was already pumped for that game because of what happened in Ohio State. Him... You know, uh, um, Baker Mayfield uh, flinging that flag around. And you saw that at the end of the half when when Baker Mayfield was sacked by Nick Bosa. Nick Bosa was flinging around that flag, you know, mocking Baker Mayfield. And at the end of the game, he actually took out the 49ers flag and started waving it around, right? Baker Mayfield also, uh, there was a, I want to talk about the Richard Sherman thing real quick. And Richard Sherman, uh, you know, felt that Baker Mayfield you know, didn't shake his hand after the coin toss, things like that, as a sign of disrespect. But I think there's a little discrepancy there, being that Richard Sherman and Baker Mayfield exchanged a handshake before the coin toss. But then after the coin toss, Baker Mayfield kind of runs back and gets pumped and starts, you know, wants to play football. But I think Richard Sherman, you know, there's a difference between old school and new school guys, right? The veterans versus the, you know, the younger players, the rookies and guys like that. I think Richard Sherman is just brought up in a different time and period where, you know, they exchanged hands before and after a coin toss. I don't, I don't see, I don't think that was Baker Mayfield's fault. I don't think he did anything wrong there. Um, but Richard Sherman, I guess because of everything that's been going on with Baker Mayfield in the past couple of months, I guess he felt like, well, this is just like Baker Mayfield's character. I'm going to take it as him doing another one of his stunts. So that being said, that's why Richard Sherman was pumped in this game, wind up also getting an interception in this game. Now, this video is going to be about the Cleveland Browns, but more so about Baker Mayfield. Why? Because I feel like the Cleveland Browns are in the position they are because, solely because, of Baker Mayfield. Now, don't get me wrong. I think Freddie Kitchens does not deserve one bit to be the starting head coach, starting head coach, the head coach of the Cleveland Browns. I think the amount of talent that's there, I mean, you look at before the season, everybody was talking about the Cleveland Browns being a Super Bowl contender. Me, I was on the fence. I was saying they are definitely a playoff contender, but I don't know about a Super Bowl contender. But, you know, uh, you know, Chris, the entertainer, talking sports. He always calls them the paper champions because that's what they are. When you look at a team on paper before the season starts, a team with Baker Mayfield, Jarvis Landry, Odell Beckham, Nick Chubb, David Njoku, Kareem Hunt, who's coming back, uh, Denzel Ward, Greedy Williams, uh, Gar uh, Miles Garrett, um, Larry Ogunjobi, um, a, a bunch of these other guys, right? Bunch of, I think Emmanuel Ogba as well. A bunch of these other guys on this team. And I may even left a couple of people out. Antonio, Call Antonio Callaway as well. Um, Rashard Higgins. I'm just keep going along as, I as I'm thinking about him. That team is stacked. Okay? And I think everybody was trying to ignore the fact that Freddie Kitchens is their head coach, who was their running back coach last week, uh, last year. 
And then everybody was trying to ignore the fact that he was the head coach because of the talent on that team. They were basically thinking, well, it doesn't matter who's that head, who's the head coach. It should work out either way, right? It doesn't matter who's there. You know, I could be coaching the Cleveland Browns and they'll do just fine because of the talent on the team, and that's not the case whatsoever. You look at Odell Beckham. Odell Beckham was used to throw the ball and was used to run the ball before he was used to catch the ball. He had passing yards and rushing yards before he had a catch in this game. That tells me Freddie Kitchens does not know what he's doing, does not know, does not have any identity, any identity for this team. He doesn't know what this team is. He he feels like, well, I got these players on here. I'm just going to mix it up and see what happens, right? I'm just going to have my playbook in in, in a a magician's hat and pick the play out and say, we're going to run it because, you know, these guys are that talented. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't, and he does not deserve to be the head coach because of how, just because of how he used Odell Beckham last night. Now, the Cleveland Browns played terribly. They were without their two starting corners, so whatever, right? They were without Greedy Williams. They were without Denzel Ward, and Jimmy Garoppolo was able to torch them in the air, but that's no excuse because you have this guy, Mosley, number 41 of the San Francisco 49ers, guarding up OBJ and doing a pretty damn good job at it. There's no excuse. There's no excuse, okay? The offensive line is terrible, yes, but I guarantee you that front seven wouldn't be playing as hard if it wasn't for Baker Mayfield, and that's, that, that, segues way, that segues on for me for Baker Mayfield. The whole reason why the Cleveland Browns have a target on their back is solely because of Baker Mayfield. He can't shut his mouth, right? I mentioned Nick Bosa in, in Ohio State. I mentioned what Richard Sherman, what he thought was disrespect, but... You don't think every other team is listening to what you're saying? You were an underdog when nobody used to listen to you. You used to talk your crap and do whatever you wanted. Nobody cared, right? Now that you're not an underdog anymore, because you're not, you are the top of the line. You are the next franchise quarterback of the Cleveland Browns. Everybody's looking at you, okay? Everybody's hearing with what you have to say. You don't think all of these other teams, especially your opponents, are listening to what you have to say? They want something to be fired up about. If you look at every single Cleveland Browns game, even the games that they won, that, those defense are coming at them hard, man. They want to get to Baker Mayfield. All 60 minutes of the game, they want to get to Baker Mayfield because of who he is, because of what he said, because of what he's done, because of who he thinks he is, right? So Nick Bosa was just one of many examples of that. And so Baker Mayfield slowly but surely needs to start regretting and shutting his mouth and start thinking about what he says before he says it. You know, Baker Mayfield right now leads the league in interceptions with eight interceptions. Also has four touchdowns on the year. To give you guys kind of a comparison of that, Daniel Jones, who he has criticized in the past, since he's rolled back on that, say, well, I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it like that or nothing like that. He only said that because of all the scrutiny he was under for saying that. But Daniel Jones, someone who, who he's criticized, has the same amount of touchdowns that he does with five less interceptions. By the way, Daniel Jones has played in two less games than him. So that tells you with how Baker Mayfield is playing now. He has just over 1,200 yards as well. But Baker Mayfield is not a bad quarterback. I don't want you guys to think that. Cleveland Browns fans, everybody else, my Giants fans, my supporters, my subscribers, Baker Mayfield is not a bad quarterback. He's damn good. He's an accurate quarterback. He's a quarterback with a great arm. He's a quarterback that makes the good reads. He's a quarterback that can get out the pocket. But why hasn't he done that this year? Why? Why why is his play this year so much different from his play last year? Because he has a target on his back. Teams are playing all out. If they are out of breath, they are going to make sure every last breath is used to get to Baker Mayfield because of what I said, because of who he is and who he thinks he is. The NFL does not play that. This isn't college. You have to be more mature. You have to be more humble. You have to be a good leader. So, um, you know, all, all, all that built up is what it is. Okay, Baker Mayfield in the pocket now he's starting to see these defenses are coming at him full, full steam ahead. He's snapping the ball and instantly running for his life. Yes, that's because of the bad offensive line, but it's also because of those the, that front seven really trying to get to him. Look at last night. Instantly, he knew. It's like he knew. 
he, he, it's almost like he was sorry. He was just instantly regretting everything he said last night. He seen, he seen Nick Bosa coming, and he was instantly just in a frantic, and, you know, was just trying to get out of there. He was throwing balls that were absolute ducks to Odell Beckham because he was so under pressure. He was so in his head. They really, really, really got to his head. Okay? They really got to his head. So Baker Mayfield is not a bad quarterback. He's overrated, and I agree with Colin Cowherd and, and Stephen A. Smith, him say, of them saying that. He's overrated, but he's not a scrub. He's a good quarterback, but he's not able to combat all the heat that he's, that he's you know, all the smoke that he's put out there. You know, he's throwing out all the smoke, but can't take the heat, okay? So, you know, he, could, he, he, he was thinking, he was thinking, you know, I got Jarvis Landry. I've got Odell Beckham. I've got Nick Chubb in the backfield. Kareem Hunt's coming back. I got David Njoku, a big, a big uh, uh, target at tight end. I got my offensive line's all right, but I can get out the pocket. We'll be fine on offense. We're gonna score. We're gonna score some points. We are going to score some points. We want the ball, and we're gonna score, right? <laughs> what happened in that game? What happened in that game, right? We want the ball, and we're gonna score. That's what happens when you have arrogance. That's what happens when you have arrogance. You are going to be knocked on your butt. It doesn't matter how talented you are. You are going to motivate these people. You're going to give them a plus a plus three in every single one of their uh, their stats. All right? If this was Madden, they would get an instant mo- uh, instant boost because of everything that you said. Their stats are going to skyrocket because of everything you said. So that's what's wrong with the Cleveland Browns. It's Baker Mayfield. It's Baker Mayfield. Okay? He needs to calm down, be a leader, be a good sportsman guy. Colin Cowherd said that is, uh, you know, reminded me. Andrew Luck used to congratulate players for sacking him. People were afraid to sack Andrew Luck because they loved him so much. I'm not joking. There are there are people who came out and said that people did not want to sack Andrew Luck because of how much they loved him. You're the complete opposite. You're the complete opposite. So that being said, that's the video, guys. I just want to bring out a Cleveland Browns video for you guys, just because of what happened last night, man. And I may be missing out some stuff. I didn't write a script for this at all. So that being said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. And subscribe if you guys are new. I'm sorry, Cleveland Browns fans. But go Giants. Let's go.